All right, good afternoon, everybody. Colin here with Tech Out. Uh, so Beeper and Beeper Mini are not working right now. Um, they said there was an update coming out today um, to fix all that, but it has not come out. They haven't said anything else. So I don't know. I gave up on Beeper. And I installed Air Message on a 2007, pull it up right here. Um, this is a 2007 iMac uh, 20 inch right here running OS X El Capitan 10.11.6, uh, um, which I think is as far as it goes. I don't think there's there's no available updates for it. Um, <coughs> and we are running Air Message here. Uh, so what this does, I'm not gonna open messages right here just because I actually have my iMessages in there. Um, but basically it takes your messages from your Mac that you get on the regular messages application and it relays them to the Air Message application on uh, Android. You can also use this on uh, a web browser if you want to. Um, I don't remember if there's a Windows app or not. Um, we can look here in a second. Give me one second. Let's see here. Um, Air Message for Android. Air message server and air message for web are the available ones. Um, and it does require 10.10 .10 Yosemite or newer. And like I said, we're on 10.11, so we're good to go there. Everything is working. Um, open it up here. You can see I have my, my OnePlus connected there. You can't do anything with this. It just tells you what clients are connected. Um, tells you how many are connected right there. Uh, so preferences right here. I could not get the switch to account to work. Um, and basically what that does is that just uses a your Google account. Um, and links the server on the Mac to the um, application on your phone. Um, so you don't have to use port forwarding or any, anything like that to use this outside your local network. Um, I just set up port forwarding and um, forward, it, uh, forward it to port 1359, like it says right there. Um, and um, I have the Mac's IP address set to static so I can access this on um, you know my, my public IP address. Um, and I did set that up with a dynamic uh, DNS as well, so that stays up to date. If it changes, I just connect with that domain name. Um, so there's no issue there. This is all the preferences that you have right here. Um, I do have the beta updates turned on, but I haven't. I'm not on a beta or anything like that. Um, check for updates automatically. We do have a password here, um, and you'll enter that password in the app to connect to this. Um, so nobody can, you know, just take your IP or your domain name and connect to it or whatever it may be. Um, and that, it's really that simple. Um, it's pretty easy to set up. You just enter the max. Um, local IP address. You can enter two IP addresses in the um, application. So I have a main one, which is my local IP address, and then I have a fallback one, which is the domain name for my dynamic DNS. Um, so when my phone is not on the local Wi-Fi, it will use the fallback address and connect to um, it via the dynamic DNS in my public IP address. Um, now the only thing I have with the app um, is it does not update like Beeper does, it doesn't update your red messages. So if you read a message on um, the app, because it's basically just relaying from the Mac to the app on the phone, um, it doesn't actually send any data back and forth saying, hey, you open the message. Uh, so it does not send read receipts um, to the sender, and it also does not clear notifications on other Apple devices, so like your Mac, um, if you have like an iPhone or an iPad or whatever, um, also sign into iMessage, it will not clear the message notification on there like it would if you open it on Beeper or an iPhone or whatever the case may be. Um, so that is just one downfall. That's just that's like the only gripe I have with it. But everything else is working pretty good. Um, it had some connection issues at first where it kept disconnecting, and I'm not really too sure why, but that isn't happening anymore. Um, and it seems to be a lot more stable now that I do have that fallback IP as well as the local IP in there. So um, it is working on both, like I said, by my local internet, uh, my local Wi-Fi, as well as on uh, cellular data. Um, so no issues there. I just leave the, the iMac just sitting over on the floor for the time being. Um, I do have it set up on my MacBook Pro here so I can remote into it. And I also did port forward this so I can remote into it um, outside my network if I need to check something or uh, restart something or whatever the case may be. Um, if this works long term, I may get something a little bit newer to host this, like a Mac Mini or something. Um, not like an M1 or any two, any you know anything crazy like that, but uh, maybe like a 2014 or 2018 Mac Mini uh, that I can put in my network uh, rack and just run this. But uh, Beeper's dead for now. Maybe something will come out in the future that uh, they'll fix it. Uh, but it's just been too, un too unreliable. It hasn't really worked for more than three days. I updated my Beeper Cloud. Um, 
on the Mac app today and it completely stopped working on, on iMessage. So uh, that's why I switched over to this. And uh, this has been working for years. So um, like I said, Apple can't do anything about this because it just takes your messages that are sent to your Mac on the regular messages application and relays them to your phone. There's no interaction with the Apple servers or anything like that or third party services. Um, it's all right here local. So that's Air Message on Mac. Uh, running this again on a 16-year-old iMac with no issue. I'm Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.